Thank you for watching this tutorial about our SAML plugin for Jira uh, in conjunction with um, Okta. We'll show you how to set up the plugin to authenticate against Okta as well as the just-in-time provisioning of users and assignment of groups out of Okta. Let's jump to Jira then. Go to our plugin configuration, select add-ons, and then SAML single sign-on, which gets you into the new IDP dialog. So uh, click on add new IDP, please. Then select Okta as the IDP type and give it a description like resolution Okta. Go to next. And now copy the URL displayed here because we need that in the Okta configuration dialog in a second. Let's swap over to Okta. So you logged in um, to Okta as an admin. Go to Applications, Applications, and add an application. Then create new app and select a SAML um, 2.0 app. Create. Now we need to give it a name like Jira SD01. And then click on Next. Now you need the single sign-on URL and the entity ID which is exactly the URL we just copied um, a second ago. So just paste that here. And the same for the entity ID. And the only other thing um, we need to select now is um, what is the default username here. And we leave that to be the Okta username. So what we've done so far would be enough to authenticate existing users um, that already exist in Jira. But since in this tutorial we also want to set up um, or in time provision users uh, when they log in, we need to um, map some additional attributes. So um, I select um, a user first name uh, in the value and I call that attribute first. Um, last is going to be the user last name, Jira and also email goes into email. And you'll see in the plugin in a second uh, how we use those attributes um, to be clear. So um, now we've um, did everything that's required to um, um, create those users. But like I said in the tutorial, we also wanted to assign groups out of um, Okta to map. So now we need to create a group attribute um, that we can use in our plugin later. We call that groups. And we need to define a filter, and I'm going to use the dot star, so which is a regex, uh, which means it sends all groups um, from uh, Okta into uh, towards our plugin. Um, you can, if you have a large Okta setup, then you might want to filter those to just be the relevant groups um, uh, that Jira uh, needs to know about. Click on next, please. Um, just fill in the survey, it doesn't matter, just let's fill in something and go to finish. Right, now we uh, create the um, sign-on application. Uh, now right-click on Identity Provider Metadata and copy the link because we'll need that in our plugin again in a second. Right, the last thing we have to do is um, to do assignments, which means that we need to um, allow groups in Okta to use this integration. So let's go to assign to groups and um, assign this to everyone, which means everyone can use this integration um, uh, towards Jira. Um, you could also just restrict that um, uh, to certain um, users or groups if you like to. Okay, back to our plugin, click on next. Now paste the metadata URL um, in here and click on import. And now our plugin imported the metadata. Go to next. Here we could do some magic to um, transform and change the uh, user ID um, via regular expressions. In this tutorial, we want to have the Okta username be the same as in Jira. Uh, so we leave this box checked and just click on next. Um, but if you would need to do anything to 
uh, change or modify um, the user ID because it doesn't match between Okta and um, Jira, um, you would uncheck the box and then could do some configuration on that screen. In this tutorial, we also want to create users um, whenever they log in for the first time or update them on subsequent um, login. Uh, therefore, we need to map some additional attribute. The minimum we need to create those users is a full name uh, and an email. So, uh, and remember in Okta, we create those attributes first, last, to be the first and last name and email for the email. So we now combine uh, first and last to, the, to be the full name and um, the email attribute will be just email. Whenever we combine attributes, we need to put them into curly brackets. So first um, space last is going to be um, the full name and here email for the email attribute. Also what we want to show in this tutorial is to um, take group membership uh, from Okta and have the users created with that group membership and updated. So in the group attribute we call groups, so we just need to uh, define that here for the mapping to be complete. And then you can go to um, save and next. So we're mostly finished with the um, IDP setup, so now it's a good time to start the test um, uh, to see if our setup works. Um, so if you click start test here, uh, we'll actually generate what we call an authentication tracker. And the authentication tracker actually allows us um, in an open window to see live results of an ongoing authentication. So um, we'll cut and paste the um, authentication tracker URL in a, in a second and then uh, do that in a new browser window. Um, so that we um, can actually have a authentication going on. So I go to a new window, uh, paste the tracker URL. There we go. And now I go to Jira and get um, redirected to um, Okta straight away. Um, and I go back to um, our authentication tracker. You now see that it actually shows you um, the progress of this authentication. So you see it's in progress um, and you can also see what kind of summer request has already been sent with the redirect, etc. That's obviously very useful information for us when we have to support you, uh, but can also give you a good insight into the authentication. So um, now I go back to, um, uh, to the other browser window um, that I can authenticate. Here we go entering my um, username and password um, for the Okta user. Uh, error, so kermit.maps.com. And now I'm getting authenticated against Jira. And there you see I'm actually logged into Jira. Uh, and Jira has created, that's the first um, use wizard, so it has created that user as well. Going back to the authentication tracker, you now see the status of success and I'm uh, logged in. And now you can see all the detail of um, what, been uh, what has been happening. So in messages, you can actually see creating the user, um, um, adding um, the user to um, the uh, various groups, etc. And the authentication was successful. And obviously, a lot more details further down in the authentication tracker. So um, the test was successful, um, which means we can actually now um, Go to the um, final step of concluding the configuration. So please um, uh, click next here. Everything we've done so far was non-intrusive to the user. Um, so he didn't re realize uh, you were configuring something. You logged in and tested via a special URL. Um, the thing we now need to do is um, to enable um, the single sign-on redirect, which means the user, instead of um, seeing the normal um, Jira login screen, will get redirected to Okta um, to authenticate um, and then go back into um, Jira. You can either do that now um, and then it's active for all users, or you um, can um, save and close now and then go back into the IDP configuration at a later time to enable it um, during a maintenance window, for example. So check the box uh, enable SSO redirect 
And then the other thing uh, which we recommend to do is to overwrite the um, logged out URL um, uh, for um, users, um, for SSO users. Otherwise, if you click log out, you get logged in straight back in um, uh, due to the redirection. So, but if you overwrite the um, uh, logged out URL, um, then it actually shows a logged out page where the user needs to click to log back in again. You can also specify your custom URL if you like, um, which would be below. Um, but we'll leave it for this demo on redirect only SSO users after logout and then click save and close. And then you're done. Thanks for watching this and uh, your interest in our plugin. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. As you can imagine, we can always only show you the most common scenarios in those tutorials. And that might not fit your case 100%. Um, however, our plugin has a lot of options um, how to customize it um, to your needs. I can only urge you to um, book one of the free setup sessions that we offer, which is going to be a screen share between you and one of our engineers so that you can ask a lot more questions, but also that we can help you set um, our plugin up in exactly the way that it fits your needs. So um, in the video description below, you find the link to book one of those sessions. Um, alternatively, you can certainly visit our documentation. Uh, and there's also a support link if you want um, more traditional help via our support portal, um, then that's obviously accessible to you as well. So we would really love to um, uh, get you started quickly. And again, those screen share sessions are a great way to get started um, without a lot of hassle. Um, really love to help you. Thank you very much.